Are you having trouble getting square cuts on your Festool MFT3? Are you frustrated at the thought of having to buy additional tools and positioning systems just to get the guide rail to get square up against the fence? In this video, I'm going to show you that you don't need to buy anything else to get square cuts on the Festool MFT3. Stick around. Hey, I'm Ben Marshall, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to square the guide rail on your Festool MFT3 without the need for bench dogs, precision squares, or any other method that requires you to spend more money. With nothing more than your MFT3, some scrap plywood, your favorite Festool track saw, and a measuring tape, you can achieve perfectly square cuts on the Festool MFT3. And this is the reason why it's possible. The base guide on the TS75 and the TS55 are square. I've come up with 10 very easy steps to follow using the base guide off of your track saw that will get your guide rail aligned to the MFT fence that will allow you to get repeatable square cuts. Step one, loosen the rotary knobs on the MFT fence and fence deflection side and shift the fence to the left until it's clear of the guide rail. Also, loosen the feather key closest to you and move it aside. Step number two, lift up on both support unit cams, lower the guide rail to the surface of the MFT and move the guide rail in closest to you slightly to the right. Step three, grab your track saw, ensuring the power is unplugged and position the rear of the guide plate against the fence. You'll want the corner of the guide plate to just barely touch the guide rail. Maintain positive pressure on the track saw to prevent it from shifting off the fence. Step number four, with your other hand, grab the end of the guide rail closest to you, moving the guide rail to the left until it touches and aligns with the straight edge of the track saw guide plate. Release your hand from the track saw and maintain light downward pressure on the guide rail, ensuring it does not move out of alignment. Step number five. With your free hand, adjust and raise the support unit closest to you until the positioning pin aligns with the underside T-track. Once in position, briefly engage the support unit cam and then tighten the M6 rotary knob to lock the assembly to the MFT aluminum frame. Step number six. Raise the guide rail to the upright position Loosen the fence rotary knobs and move the fence right until it is just shy of the splinter guard strip on the guide rail. Tighten the fence in the deflection stop and place the cutting material against the fence, leaving a few millimeters to the outside of the splinter guard. Lower the guide rail to the material, raise the position bracket into the guide rail, and then lock both support cams. Step number seven. Connect the power cable and dust extraction hose to your track saw. Place it on the guide rail and set the appropriate plunge depth. Step number eight. With the material held firmly against the fence, begin cutting each side of the sheet good, rotating it counterclockwise after each cut so the previously cut edge is against the fence. Repeat this until all four sides have been cut. Step number nine. With your measuring tape, measure your diagonals to ensure the piece is now square. A square piece is one that has the same measurements from opposite corners. Step number 10. Using a T15 Torx, position the feather key against the support unit closest to you. This ensures that you have a positive stop for the guide rail support unit should you have to remove it or if the unit gets knocked out of calibration. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a like. If you have any questions about the process or just have something in general you'd like to add to the conversation, make sure you put it in the comments below. If you'd like to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe. Until then, I will see you in the next video.